So Cooler Master has a new AAO on the block. No pun intended. The Master Liquid 120, a tear up from the Master Liquid Light. This all-in-one solution is available in a 120mm and a 240mm variant and can potentially offer a good cooling solution for $60 and under, depending if you find it on sale or not. The Master Liquid has aim for support right out of the box, which is awesome and offers good aesthetics for this price point, but let's see what it has to offer. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC patch and tech reviews, unboxings, and setup design. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. So today we're looking at Cooler Master's Master Liquid 120. Let's start with what's included in the box. The packaging is good quality with foam inserts at the top and around the radiator. The pump, radiator, fans, and mounting kits are covered in plastic. It comes with a two-year warranty, user manual, thermal paste, and plenty and plenty of mounting options for multiple socket types and more importantly aim for support right out of the box let's talk about its features the radiator is aluminum that supports two fans for a push-pull configuration to increase airflow and the tubing is fep but it's sleeved as you can see which makes it a lot more aesthetically pleasing i like it a lot the pump has a white led which gives it a bit of life and the pump is pretty lightweight for its size and the contact plate on the pump is made of copper the pump is a dual chamber design which helps isolate the pump noise and it's made of a fiber reinforced polymer which does not corrode or oxidize so that's really good all the cables are braided including the fan splitter to connect the two fans even though the braiding doesn't extend the entire length of the fan splitter that portion is usually behind the case wall and out of view the fans are good quality too they don't have any fancy leds or lighting but that's okay i don't really mind that they are in fact pretty silent while running and they also have rubber contacts on the mounting surfaces to reduce vibrational noise honestly everything is high quality from the mounting kits to the fans nothing feels cheap so let's get into the aim for installation which i must say is one of the easiest solutions i have experienced so far if there is a standard to go by for aim for coolers this should be it to install find the rim attachment with the tabs there should be two one for each side of the pump take the four included screws and screw in the rim brace into place installation of the rim braces are really easy since they sit into the groove around the rim and it fixes itself into position and makes it really easy to screw into place then apply your thermal paste and secure the cooler down here's the best part leave the aim for motherboard in its original configuration with the plastic mounts and backplate all intact so right out of the box motherboard does not need to be changed at all take the tabs and slide them over the plastic mounts and screw them down to secure the pump into place see what i mean a really really easy installation and saves all the headaches aside from the installation how does it cool well referring to my other video for the aim for cooler showdown possibly part one i compared the master liquid 120 to several other coolers the cpu for testing was the ryzen 1400 which really doesn't output that much heat with the 65 watt thermal rating but even though the master liquid 120 was almost matched with thermals from the cryo rig h5 and 212 evo the Master Liquid 120 can potentially provide more headroom for overclocking. The T12 Evo is an exceptional cooler and still one of the most popular to this day for that reason. So for reference, here's what the Master Liquid 120 sounds like at idle and load. Overall, this is a well-rounded all-in-one liquid cooling solution that appeals to several traits. As high-quality parts, it operates quietly while idle and under load gives good headroom for overclocking, and it's compact and looks really good. There's little to no worry of clearance issues, and it gets the job done and looks good while doing it. Alright, some of the reviews off Amazon, some of the negative reviews were about the installation process, which really doesn't make much sense since it's like one of the easiest solutions I've ever experienced. The only hiccup I had is that the mounting screws for the case were missing in my packaging but cooler master support was able to provide the right screws promptly liquid coolers are usually always more expensive than air cooled solutions but for $60, the Master Liquid 120 provides a great cooling solution while also being compact, good looking, quiet, and solid build quality. Really can't ask more for that. You can even find this cooler on sale for even less and sometimes the 240mm variant is on sale for $65. But even at the MSRP for $60, this is a solid cooling option for an AAO. Although there are cooling solutions that provide almost the same level of cooling at a lower price point, the Master Liquid 120 does not only appeal to the cooling 
cooling aspect, but to others as well, which as I stated before, makes it a well-rounded solution for a mid-tier cooler. Want to see more videos like this one? Consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.